See, when I was in this dollar store bathroom, y'all, I turned on the sink to wash my hands and the sound of the water slowed down. Why are we at KFC, mom? This is not where you get cheese sticks. You're not supposed to make a woman with no cheese smile. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh, look at these rocks. Dang, these, these cars are so pretty. It might have been coffee. Oh, God. Someone just crashed, y'all. This is a lot of stimuli. Stimulant. What's it called? Can you get stimulated? This beautiful ass girl walks in. Mind you, I'm tripping. So, like, my confidence is, like, very high. As soon as she walks in, I'm like, I'm like, you're beautiful. Like, I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. And I'm, like, sitting there thinking in my head. I'm like, this girl's not leaving unless I get her number. And guess what I did? Hey guys, um, I'm excited for you guys to see this video because because you know why I do have a lot of vlog footage So don't worry about that. I am gonna be narrating this video. It's not a story time I'm just gonna narrate because a lot of the clips are like just out of context and I did vlog all of this on my phone This was probably the best trip I've ever had. Well so far that, that was my second time ever tripping on so with my first trip, I was in a different kind of environment. There's a lot of people around me. There's a lot of distraction. This was definitely mostly by myself and I actually saw a lot more than what I saw on my first trip. And like the visuals were like way better and I'm pretty sure I took like a little bit more by accident. We're gonna start straight from the beginning. So this started in the bathroom. Okay, so right now I'm doing my makeup, but in a minute I'm gonna go in the room. So my plan was to get some cheese sticks and go sit under a tree. So that was the original plan, but that's not what happened because I did not think, like I was wanting it to be intense, but I didn't think it was gonna be as intense as it was. Like I couldn't do a lot of the stuff that I thought I was gonna do, but I still had like an adventure. Like that whole day was an adventure. And I spent a lot of time with my mom, but that was really cool. And you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Luckily, that's a girl dog that way or hike his legs and pee on things. So I want a girl. Girl, okay. He's so cute. Aww. Aww, baby. There's not even any clouds. It's just sun. It feels really nice. My stomach kind of hurts, but I think it's just because I'm hungry. So, I can't wait to get me some cheese sticks. Maybe you haven't yet. I don't have the urge to poop. You ain't gotta run, I'm gonna go slow down. <laughs> that guy in the truck didn't look like he's gonna slow down. What an asshole. So we were walking outside and after we crossed the street, we took a little break on this little sign or something. And I was talking about how I was like feeling nauseous. Like I was feeling weird. My stomach actually like was hurting and it was like hurting before I had eight um, But it was hurting worse and worse and I knew it was because of the but I didn't want it, my mom to know. As we were chilling right there, sitting on that sign or whatever it was, she had like realized that she needed some like mini trash bags or whatever. And there was a dollar store like right there. And I was gonna wait for her to come with me, but she still needed a break. And I was like, well, I just wanna go ahead and get it over with. So by the time I come back, we can go get our food and then we can go head back home and then I can chill outside. Like that was the plan. We were, I was outside for way longer than I anticipated. After I go into the Dollar Tree, that's when it just starts going all crazy and going all stupid. I use the bathroom, I'm using the bathroom, I wipe, I get up, I go to wash my hands. Y'all, I turn on the water, I turn on the water, and I'm not even, like, that's how I, I got freaked out because this has never, like, happened, like, nothing auditory has ever happened when I'm, when I, actually, yeah, when I was tripping on paper with Kara, it wasn't even an auditory hallu hallucination, it was, like, an actual sound, but I feel like when I'm tripping on paper, like things are louder. But see, when I was in this dollar store bathroom, y'all, I turned on the sink to wash my hands and the sound of the water slowed down. I swear the sound of the water slowed down and it caught me so off guard. I got so scared and then I had to remember what I had did. So I'm like shook. I'm like looking at the water. 
there's nothing going on with the water but the sound of it is like it just went like because you know how water's like shh, it was like shh, it was like i don't know i don't know how to explain it because i feel like i sound crazy but if you know you know caught me off guard it was really cool like i was listening for a little minute and then i looked in the mirror and i knew i knew i knew for sure like i knew 100 percent when i saw like my face and i was like seeing stuff move so i turned on the water that's all oh god okay i'm tripping <laughs> this is nice i feel like a star right now like this whole bathroom is yellow and stuff it's like very yellow gotta get my mom some trash bags I didn't think it was going to kick in so fast. Okay. I gotta hurry. This feels like a game. Like, I keep walking through aisles. I cannot find these trash bags. I don't think they have any. I actually don't think they have any. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> She's too cute. I gotta go. Y'all, tell me why I asked the, the lady that works here. I was like, do you know where the trash bags are? And she didn't even answer me. She just looked at me and started looking. I don't know if she's helping me look or if she's, she didn't hear me or, or I don't know. But I'm tripping right now and I gotta go. My mom ain't getting no trash bags because <laughs> there ain't nothing in here. But I want to buy something so I don't look suspicious. I'm too cute. Ooh, I wish y'all could see this right now. This is crazy. I'm so dead right now. I'm looking at the J. I'm looking at the drinks. And I don't know if it's because I'm tripping and the color's off. Or if it is expired. <laughs> and the fridge is leaking. I know it's not me. Okay, I don't want none of this. It looks weird. I need something to drink though. I don't care. Uh, let me get some water. Is this flavored water? This, this look, this look trustable. <laughs> I don't even like raspberry. Hold on, I need to get out of here. Coconut milk, I've heard about that. Should I try that? Coconut water? Let me check if it's expired. <laughs> Cause I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, bruh, it's actually expired. <laughs> I'm so dead right now. Is that me? Um, I'm gonna get out of here. I gotta go see if my mom is good. I'm literally gonna hurry up and check if my mom is okay. <laughs> I can't wait to call Omar. Oh <laughs> this is just regular water. Look, watermelon flavored water. And I know this ain't expired because I don't think water can expire. This is flavored water though. No, this is good. I might need this. Do y'all got trash bags? Yes, they're right over in there somewhere. <laughs> I was looking for them. I cannot find them. I'll be right back. Because now I'm starting to get mad. The There's no trash bag, dog. They are right here. And the little baggies, too. Damn, I feel bad. No, because I thought that lady was with me. I need to get out of here. Got the trash bags. I think that's all my mom said she needed. All right. Want this lady out, left out to drink? Uh, yeah. Thank you. I was gonna tell her how those other drinks look questionable. Why is my mom sitting there? <laughs> oh my god. This is why she needs to go home. Look at mom. Let me get it on my face. Ooh, look at them dandelions. See those flowers. I forgot how many settings my phone got. Like, this got that ultra zoom. Like, I was looking at the drinks, mom, and they was like weird colors. And then I thought, I thought it was me. So I looked at the date, it was actually expired. Some of them, it was like this chocolate milk or something. It might have been coffee. Oh God. Someone just crashed, y'all. Bruh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Here, mom, get up. This is there's too much going on. This is a lot of stimuli. A lot of, um, stimuli. What's it called? When you get stimulated? <laughs> Look 
Go through the grass. Go through the grass. <laughs> Why are we at KFC, Mom? This is not where you get cheese sticks. <laughs> I know. Oh. We're going that way. Okay. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> we got to cross the street. I need to get a car so I don't got to walk. I know. I'm about to get it, y'all. I'm excited. Yeah, I can't wait to get my car, Mom. I'll drive you everywhere because I don't like all this. People are weird. People are dangerous. Well, I don't mind walking. It's just... Uh, The heart of Kentucky, yeah. Lexington. It's really pretty out here though. It's a beautiful day. This iPhone vlogging is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. No, and I'm talking to myself. He's about walking there, a little steep little thing right there. I don't fall down, but <laughs> I would have been like, oh, look, there's some old ladies over there. See, you're not that old. You be you be talking about yourself saying you old. You're not even that old. No, but I got old people physically probably. Hey, bro, stop dropping stuff. I used to. Is that thing true where you drop a lit cigarette at the gas station and blow up the whole gas station? Yes. Oh shoot! I be thinking about that. I be thinking about that all the time. That would be crazy to see. Yeah. Oh, look at these rocks. So they are. <laughs> Where are you They're really pretty. Okay, this is where you get your food. No. You're not. We're going to. We're going to okay. I like the I look raw. <laughs> I have quite a few blemishes. Um, and you can really, 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 really see them when you're tripping. But I wasn't even mad about it. I was just like, yo, this is just how I look. And, you know, I don't, people don't think I'm like ugly or anything. So I don't really care. And I don't think I'm ugly. So I don't really care. But you can see all of that like very, very, very clear. And I had barely did makeup that day. I just be finding stuff funny. <laughs> I keep forgetting I got my camera. That's why I keep getting paranoid because I don't ever want anything to happen to this. This thing was expensive. You already know. I saved up my first few checks for this. Even when I was living with Bird Brain, uh, <laughs> I did not let them touch my camera, my computer. I don't like nobody do that. I don't like people like touching stuff like that. That's my, I don't know if it's just me. No, I know we're all right. And I kept it under my bed. <laughs> yeah. Unless I was on it. Because it is easy to break and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to turn this on though. Because I'm low key enjoying my phone. I need to eat some pizza. I mean, some. Keep what calling it pizza. Say, old future. Um, odd future. Yeah. I like it. Me too. I wish I had your freckles. Well, guess what? I'm gonna get some dentures and I'm gonna have some nice teeth. And then you're gonna say, damn. <laughs> I like your teeth. <laughs> Girl, you are a comedy. You be saying I'm funny. I get it from you. This is nice. My stomach has been feeling weird. I'm not gonna eat a lot of this. You're not supposed to make a woman with no teeth smile. Okay, well, no, I don't want to get food from here because I don't like their food. I just want to cry some um, noodles and uh, shrimp fried rice. From here? And then, uh, and then I'm going over there to get some goddamn food. This thing. What'd you get over, from over there? Sorry, I keep interrupting you. I'm going to get some chicken, some macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Okay. Yeah, let's do this because I'm ready to get back home. I need to sit down somewhere. I feel like there's a lot of people over here, even though there's nobody here. But I just feel like, you know, there's a lot of things going on. Bruh. I didn't even see that. When we was crossing, I was looking at the... That looks so funny carrying this pizza box around. <laughs> what? What? What you look at? Do you see the, the light? No, the brown stuff. I mean, yellow stuff. Right here. My hair is coming out. Oh, yeah? What is that? <laughs> Maybe it's mold. I mean, I really know. Okay, so we're chilling in KFC, right? And I didn't record much. I wish I recorded more, but I wasn't recording much. But y'all, after my mom got all her food and stuff ready, and Omar had called, I told him I was tripping, and we had a little chuckle about that. If I'm tripping, and if I'm like doing anything. In my head, I feel like I'm making it so obvious, but 
really it's really not that obvious i can control myself like even if i'm like tripping because i was really tripping anyways my mom knows that i'm queer like she knows that i'm gay and all that stuff but i think she really just sat there and like realized like damn my daughter is this beautiful ass girl walks in mind you i'm tripping so like my confidence is like very high and i'm even more extroverted than i already am i can be like very shy especially if i'm like flustered which i was but like you know my confidence was like extra boosted so i'm like telling her like as soon as she walks out, i'm like damn like you're beautiful That's like i'm like yo i'm like yo and i'm like sitting there thinking in my head i'm like this girl's not leaving unless i get her number and guess what i did i got her number so but let me let me tell the story she comes in there as my mom's leaving and my mom like sees us and she's like i'm gonna leave y'all alone because y'all know how moms be and then she goes sit outside and then i'm like looking at this girl mind you i'm still on the phone with omar and I'm like, oh my god, you're like, you're so pretty. Like, you just caught me off guard. I told her I was like tripping a little bit. And she thought that was so funny. I went to go get my stuff because I was getting ready to leave too. But I was like, yo, like, do you have Instagram or something? <laughs> I don't know what I asked for. I'm pretty sure it was Instagram. She, I think she said she didn't have it. She was like, do you have Snapchat? And then I was like, bruh, I don't have Snapchat. So I was like, that's super funny. I was like, can I get your number? <laughs> She's like, yeah. And I'm like, yo, like, this is really happening. Mind you, later on that day, I thought I had hallucinated all of that because I was looking on my phone and I was like pretty sure I'm pretty sure I was peeking and I was looking for her information and I could not find it. I literally got so upset but I think I was just tripping so I ended up finding it and I do have her number and we talked a little bit so that's really cool. But I got her number and then she walked with me outside and then me and my mom left. She went in her car or whoever's car that was and then I went about my day and she went about hers and then oh my god i did call her later when i was peeking and i was talking to her and i was crying i was crying for whatever reason because that's what mushrooms do um and then like the next day i like texted her i was like i'm so sorry like i was crying on the phone with damn near everybody so that was really funny and that was like really cool and i got a girl's number and my mom was like after she had found out like the next day that i was tripping on she was like so that girl and i was like yeah i haven't really texted her that much like we texted each other like, but it was like a short conversation. Like, we're not like texting, texting. I don't know. Maybe we get to hang out one day. Um, but she was like, yeah, your confidence is a lot more there whenever you're like, you know, high, which is true. That was just like a really like funny ass experience. But I can just tell people that I was tripping and I got a girl's number in the middle of KFC. Like, that is so funny. After that, we started walking back to my mom's place. Dang, these, <laughs> these cars are so pretty. Bruh, you can really see the spring. How you doing? <laughs> These uh, flowers are real pretty. You look like a ninja. <laughs> we go back to the like apartment complex. We go through the back way. We don't go. So there's like two ends of, I think there's always two ends of an apartment complex, but we got one side on the other side. But my mom decides she wants to check the mail, which is all the way on the other side. So whenever she was explaining this, I did not know what she was talking about. I'm like, where are we going? And, um, I feel dumb because we're going to the apartment complex, but I wouldn't, I've never been in through this way. Like the whole place is pretty big. So I'm like, where are we going mom? She was like, home. <laughs> and she's like confused, but she didn't realize like what, what, what I was telling. So we go in there, y'all, this long ass hallway, mind you, it's actually really long, but like since I'm tripping, it seemed even longer and like the way I was seeing it, all the doors and stuff, they were, they were going like this and stuff. They weren't going like this, like they weren't going in and out. I don't know how to explain it. I was tripping my I was like tripping out my mind. I was just like, damn, like this is about to be a whole separate adventure in itself. And I got a little clip of that, let me show y'all. And it just looks like a regular ass hallway. It kind of looks a little suspicious, a little creepy. I wasn't creeped out when I was going through. I was just like, bruh, how am I gonna do this? Bruh. This is insane. Bruh, this is making me. I need to text Hector. I wonder how he's doing. Who? My friend Hector. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's probably not that. Yeah, this is. I wonder what this is. Maybe this is. <laughs> 
And that's the last clip that I got of the vlog, so I think I should go ahead and start telling the rest of the story. But I did leave the apartment complex because I didn't want to stay in the house. I did go in there and I called my best friend and I was telling her how I was like, whenever I had bought these, I had got enough for me and my friend Hector, but I don't have a scale, so I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't evenly split it. I eyeballed it and I got two heads and then like just a bunch of like pieces and then I ate all of that. So I don't know the exact amount but apparently it was a lot because but i had called my best friend and we was cracking up on the phone because y'all i was really going through it and i was too scared i was in the bathroom i wanted to wash my hands because all that stuff i was touching like outside and stuff i wanted to wash my hands but i was too scared to turn on the scene not it wasn't scary but i just didn't want it to happen like again i didn't want to witness that because it, it caught me off guard in the first place so i was like i don't really feel like dealing with this again i never washed my hands and i mean that just comes with the trip like a little bit of paranoia but it wasn't like complete fear it was just like i don't really want to so i'm not gonna do it so i ended up going outside i'm off the phone with kara and i'm just walking back across the street and i sit there for about feels like forever i was sitting there but as i was sitting there I called that girl that I'm in at KFC. I called my dealer. I called Omar. I called Kara again. On the phone, I cried with Omar because I was just looking at the sky and I was like, damn, it's a beautiful day today. And I was just like really happy and all that stuff and overwhelmed. Called Kara. Started crying because I missed her. <laughs> and I was like, damn, I wish you lived in Lexington again. And I was like, I wish you was here because I definitely would have gave her some too. And then I called that girl. I don't even know why I called her. I was just like talking to her. All these phone calls like were, that, this was a long time. These weren't quick calls. Like these were like pretty long calls. And the last person I called was my dealer. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I was peeking as I was calling him. And he was like, yo, what's going on? And he was just like, what is this girl going through? Like he probably thought I was doing something else, but I was really just peeking and just enjoying life at the moment. Cause I was just like, yo, this is really nice. And I was crying and he was like, he was just acknowledging that I was having a good trip. He was laughing. There was somebody else in the car. And then he can see that my phone was dying because it kept going in and out. My data was acting so weird that day. So it was going in and out and then my phone eventually died. I sat there for, after my phone died, I just sat there for another long ass time. I pulled out my camera. I was contemplating whether I should start vlogging on my camera. I never did. I put my phone, I mean, I put my camera back in my pocket, all that stuff. And I chilled and I was just looking my oh my god another thing i saw a lot that day i saw so many jeeps and i'm like y'all this is a sign because i'm getting a jeep soon someone had like um it was a jeep wrangler i don't know if it was a sahara or if it was just like a jeep wrangler unlimited it was like lifted and i don't know if it was just a regular like four-wheeler jeep or if it was like the the truck jeep i don't think it was a truck jeep i think it was just like a regular like um jeep wrangler it was like one of the newer ones and it was like a royal blue it was so pretty. I saw it twice that day. I was like, yo. And I was trying to compliment the dude, but he was not trying to roll down his window. He probably saw tears on my face, so he's like, what is wrong with this girl? But I was like, damn. And I saw a bunch of other Jeeps, too. I kept sitting there, and I sat there. I sat there for a long time. It didn't seem like a long time because I was just enjoying my trip, but I was really sitting there for a long time. I got up, and I just started walking around. Where did I go first? I ended up walking to... Trader Joe's. I got so excited when I realized I was that close. The quality is so low. I'm so sorry, but this is just, I'm so sorry because my camera keeps dying and I don't want to wait for it to charge again. I don't know when my mom's coming home and I just want to get this over with. I walk into Trader Joe's and it smells so good. Like the smell is so strong that I feel like I'm going to pass out. I start walking around. This is my second time ever being there because the first time I've ever been there, it was like last year and that was a great experience in itself. I was thinking about that and it almost made me cry in the middle of Trader Joe's. I'm walking around. I don't even know why I went there and I didn't know what I was going to get, but I'm walking around. Everybody's in a good ass mood. Like everybody, everybody in Trader Joe's like it's just a vibe like the employees the people the artwork we have in there the food actually the food is kind of weird but some of the food's like really cool I'm like vibing the out I feel like 
when I went in there, it was super obvious that I was like through. Not the way I was acting, just the way that I looked. Like my eyes were low as like I damn near looked like I was falling. In. I it looked like I was sleepwalking probably, but. I was having an, an amazing time. <laughs> I was literally trying to look for what I was smelling. And I was just smelling a whole bunch of stuff. But I end up in this peanut butter aisle. And it wasn't just peanut butter. Like they had they had all kinds of butters, creams, peanut butter, cookie butters. Like just that kind of stuff. And I'm looking at everything. And I st I'm standing there for about 10 minutes. Swear to God I'm standing there for about 10 minutes looking at everything. Ended up grabbing. I'll show you what I got. Ended up getting this creamy peanut butter that's salted ew is this a do y'all see that maybe i gotta shake it a little bit but that looks suspicious is this expired or is it just like that and then i got this Ooh, this looks too good i got this crunchy cookie butter spread deliciously unusual with crunched biscuits and warm flavors of holiday spice bread i was looking at this damn near nutted in the middle of the peanut butter aisle so i'm looking at all the employees and i'm like which one am i gonna approach <laughs> i'm like picking and choosing and i saw this one and he was just a vibe and i saw his outfit i was like yes i saw his glasses i was like yes like everybody in there is just so swag like i don't know i feel like i'm the type of person who thinks they could work at trader joe's but like i'm swag but i'm not that kind of swag like there's only a certain type of people that can work at trader joe's and they just got the most swag ever i walk up to this employee and he's just being super nice and i'm just loving his energy and i'm like yo do you know what this bread is like can you show me where the bread is can you recommend me some good bread i tell him that i'm overwhelmed and i'm like filled with joy right now and i haven't been here in a long ass time my second time ever being here he's like oh and then he recommends this bread this sliced french fr sliced french i don't know how to pronounce it buttery moist and perfectly french we get to the register and i start talking to him like i didn't even ring up my stuff like we start having a full-blown conversation he can tell that i was having a good time he was making me very emotional because he was just making me even more happy and even more excited and i was getting very stimulated by all of this and i'm like yo looking around and stuff and i was like yo i'm really hungry i might just eat this outside as soon as i walk outside he was like for real this man gave me a fork I mean, not a fork. He gave me a butter knife. And he was like, go ahead. And I was like, yo. I wish I could remember his name, but I'm definitely going to go back and hopefully find the first employee that I ever met there. Like, the first time I went there. And hopefully, I'll see him again. And he's a great employee. Like, he deserves a raise. And then, before I left, I don't know if he charged me for these, but he was like, do you like mac and cheese? And I was like, eh. Like, I'm not really... Mac and cheese is not my one of my favorite foods, but it's not something that I'm like, no. I wouldn't say no to mac and cheese if someone offered it to me. So he's like, you want some mac and cheese? And he's like, I'm like, yeah. I wanted to keep talking to him, but then a customer came and he was like, yo, hate to end the conversation, but there's a customer. I was like, yo, I can respect that. Do your job. And then I left. And as I was walking out, I was just like so happy. Then I walked back in the area that I came from. And then I was going to go home, but then I saw a taco stand. Mind you, y'all, this is so much food we got that day, and I realized the next day, and I felt so dumb because I had spent so much money because, first of all, the food, and then I went online shopping. I was, like, spending a lot more money than I, like, usually do ever, so I was just like, mm, I see why we did it, and <laughs> I'm honestly happy with everything that I bought, but I was just like, no, we're not doing that again. So, I saw a taco stand, and I was like, yo, oh, ooh, backtrack, backtrack. When I was walking away from Trader Joe's, I was looking at the little, the dandelions, like the ones I recorded whenever I had, whenever me and my mom were leaving the Dollar Tree, started picking some, and I looked crazy because I just started going in random places, picking the ones that I felt looked the best, but they all looked the same. And I'm holding them, and I'm like walking, I'm all happy, I'm like, I can't wait to give these to my mom. I never gave them to her because I forgot about them. They were in the bag, I'm sure she saw them, but she doesn't know that they were for her, and I'm sure they're like rotten by now and shriveled up i saw the taco stand and i went over there y'all whoo i got so paranoid over there not because of like anything specific but i asked the people there's like two table like wood tables and there's the taco stand and i was like can i sit here because it looked like there's some like construct they were like construction people like they were working or whatever just chilling eating 
resting as they should. I was like, can I sit here? And they're like, he was like, yeah. And then I go and order some tacos and then I'm waiting, but I'm waiting for a long ass time. I don't know if it was just in my head or he was doing something in there and he got like stuck. Cause it was just me. And then there was those guys and they were already eating. Um, I guess they had ordered more food because by the time my food was ready, they got their food before I did. So they obviously ordered before I was even there. So, um, anyways, as I was waiting for my food, I was waiting for like, I know I wasn't tripping because it really was a long time and I got paranoid because I thought they were like calling the cops or something or, you know, how your head is when you're, when you're high on anything, like you just kind of, your mind goes places that sometimes you don't want it to go. And I was just like, yo, are they like on to me? Like, did they just scam me in front of me? Like, but I didn't make it obvious that I was getting spooked because I almost asked them. I was like, yo, is he in there cooking it? Like, is he making it? I was going to ask the people that was just chilling there, but I trusted the process and then the food came out and I was so happy. I was like, thank y'all. I grabbed it. I was going to sit and eat right there, but I didn't because I really wasn't hungry. Whenever I got my cheese sticks, I thought I was going to tear them up as soon as I got them, but I never did. I wasn't, I didn't want to eat probably because I felt like I'm going to throw everything up, which I probably would have. So I ended up waiting, which I did. And when I did eat it, it was so good. I'm talking about my cheese sticks, by the way, because my mom ate all those tacos. <laughs> she didn't leave me any. Okay, so I walk back home and I show my mom that I got some tacos. And I'm like, yo, I'm so tired from the day, which I was. A lot happened. <laughs> I come in here and I lay down. I thought I was going to be able to sleep, but I didn't because I was still tripping. I ended up watching Young Justice. Um, and that was super fun to watch while I was tripping because everything was just super weird. <laughs> I'm always going to be like Team DC, even though I do like Marvel. But And then I did end up going to sleep and I kept waking up overnight because I was still like, it was still in my system. And then the next day I slept pretty much all day because I was tired. I texted that girl and then that was it. So that trip overall was probably like one of the best by far. Um, it was definitely better than the first time that I've ever tripped on. And it was just very beautiful because I was talking about on my Instagram, like a few, it was like either, it was like a couple days before that I was talking about how I need, I feel like it's time, like the time for me to have another trip I feel like I need this because I have been a little down with all that roommate stuff that happened so I felt like I needed it and I really did and it helped a lot it felt like an adventure time episode like something that would happen in, happen in an adventure time episode like it was just really fun and emotional and I've heard about people just randomly crying while they were like tripping on that didn't happen my first trip but it happened for this trip I couldn't control it like it was just coming down, down, down. It wouldn't stop and I couldn't, I didn't want to stop it. I wasn't trying to. I kept asking like, yo, I'm crying. I don't know why I'm crying. I don't know why I'm crying, but I wasn't even trying to stop it. Uh, so euphoric. And I like how long I waited. Like I think I waited a pretty long time and it was like the perfect timing. Even before I had took those like, like when I had woke up that day, I checked the weather. I was like, damn, it's going to be a beautiful day outside. I wonder what we're going to do today. Whenever I had woke up, it's because my mom woke me up. I was like asleep and she saw I was like in a mess and she was like get up and I'm so glad that she told me to get up and yeah so shout out to my mom that was the story of the best trip I've ever had ever by far so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment anything you'd like to comment subscribe join the family do not join the family if you're not gonna watch my videos don't subscribe if you're not gonna watch my videos because why would you do that remember to stay whelmed never overwhelmed unless you're like really happy you know i can't wait to see you guys in my next video